Welcome back to the NFL Draft Bible Player Spotlight Show. I am your host, Chris Shanafel, bringing you the names that you need to know first since 2002. And here we are just a couple months away from the 2017 NFL Draft. Of course, we are presented by the College Gridiron Showcase. Visit CGSAllStar.com as well as the brand new and free NFLDraftBible.com website where you can find scouting reports, player interviews such as this one, and more. So again, NFLDraftBible.com, it's the place to be, ladies and gentlemen. And joining the Player Spotlight Show now is uh, somebody whose stock has risen uh, like very few other prospects in the 2017 NFL Draft. If you're familiar with uh, Draft Twitter, he's a Draft Twitter favorite, and uh, he is the wide receiver out of Grambling State. Uh, Chad Williams joins the show now. And, Chad, we really appreciate you taking some time to join the show this uh, this evening. How's this uh, draft process treating you? Man, it's, it's treating me well, man. I'm I'm just very thankful for you guys, you know, even reaching out to me and giving me the call. Hey, man, we appreciate you. Uh, again, I know your schedule is very busy. You've been doing a lot, especially over the past month, month and a half. Um, even before that, since the season is, uh, since the season has ended, you've been uh, grinding away. Now, um, of course, last year, Chad, there was a receiver that came out of Grambling by the name of uh, Chester Rogers. He signed with the Colts as an undrafted free agent and ended up making the, the final uh, the final roster, the 53-man roster. And he actually made a handful of plays uh, throughout the season. By any chance, has he uh, given you any advice or, or uh, anything like that for, for you uh, as you look to now follow his footsteps and, and meet him on Sundays playing in the league? Uh, yeah, man. Uh, Chester is like my big brother. Uh, I talk to him all the time, man. He just always gives me little pointers. Uh, you know, just staying sharp and you know being a pro today. You know, you're not a college athlete anymore. You have to, you know, you have to kind of, you have to work like a pro. He tells me how you have to work like a pro. You have to carry yourself like a pro. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, he he looks out for me a lot and keeping my head leveled on, on you know what to expect and and kind of like what it would be like. Yeah, that's awesome. And again, he really burst out to the scene last year and made a name for himself already in the NFL. Now, Chad, if you could talk about your journey to uh, to uh, your journey to Grambling State. I mean, you're from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. What was the whole recruiting process like for you coming out of high school, and how did you ultimately become a Tiger? Um, my high school had just opened up in 2009, 2010. That was their first year, and uh, hmm. that was my freshman year which I didn't go to that high school. I transferred back to my high school, my 10th grade year. And But the football program wasn't really up to par. We had just opened up the school. So, you know, we were an a, a even team, you know, a 5-5 five and five or, you know, a 4-6 four and, four and six team, you know. And um always been a very good athlete, but I guess I, I don't know what to put it as a whole, but like a lot of college teams overlooked me. And I didn't have a lot of offers coming out of high school. I only had two, uh, one offer, U, 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 ULM. Uh, University of Louisiana Monroe, and they never even saw me play a snap. They just heard about me from another coach and came down and straight off of me. But also, Coach Doug Williams was at Grambling at the time, and uh, he came down and he took a look at me, and uh, he liked me, man. And he sent the scholarship, and <laughs> I signed it. You know, I felt more comfortable with Coach Doug as, you know, he looking out for me as a as a person that, you know, as far as a player. You know, and uh, I really just felt comfortable with my decision, and I guess that's what made me a Tiger. <laughs> and the rest is history. There's no doubt about that. Looking at what you've been able to do throughout your collegiate career, Chad, I mean, the one thing that, that really stands out is just the progression you've made uh, in production year by year. And uh, looking at what you've been able to do the past two years, you caught 154 passes for over 2,300 yards and 22 touchdowns. Um, what would you attribute your year-by-year progression to, and how were you able to grow into the impactful player that you are now today? Um, I just kept God first, man. I just kept working. I kept working. If you turn on the film my freshman year to my senior year, man, you see a totally different guy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you would see a totally different guy. I, I believe every year I, I was not the same guy that I was last year. Uh, in reference to my sophomore year, looking back to freshman year, I wasn't the same guy. Uh, junior year to sophomore year, I wasn't the same guy. And definitely uh, my my senior year to my junior year, I definitely wasn't the same guy, man. I just I just took all those off seasons and, and all those all those summer workouts. I took that into perspective and made myself even better than I was the year before. I watched I watched a lot of tape on myself. Uh, you know, I, I'm my biggest critic. I might say, you know, I'm, I'm real real hard on myself. Some people say I shouldn't be like that, but. I am, you know, I, I'm hard on myself because I want myself to be the best that myself can possibly be. I, I looked at a lot of tape on myself. I, 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 in off season, I wrote down. I got a, I got a book. <laughs> I have a book with a million 
a million things that I needed to fix um, from the previous year. And, and you know, that's, those are the kind of things that I focused on in the off season and, and doing so that, that made me step up my game, you know, a lot better. Well, and whenever you're your biggest critic, I mean, I don't think there's anybody that should be more hard on themselves than yourself. So, uh, again, um, a, a lot of great work, and you've seen it, like you said, year by year. I mean, it's like you're a totally different player, especially looking at, at, at now compared to your freshman year, that big jump there. Now, this past season, your senior year, Chad, you did reel in a career high, 90 receptions for 1,300 yards and uh, 11 touchdowns. Um, talk about the chemistry you have with your quarterback, Devontae Kincaid, who is uh, certainly a prospect to look out for in 2018 as uh, one of the top quarterbacks in all the FCS. Uh, man, the chemistry was there from uh, day one when Ken K stepped on campus, man. It would be some nights where, where the throwing sessions would last so long, uh, everybody else would leave, and, and me and him would still be out there going at it. I mean, he, and I used to always kind of tell him, you know, we used to grind in the off season. I always tell him, man, I, I, I'm going out I'm to outwork your arm. He like, man, my arm, I outwork your legs before <laughs> you outwork my arm, you know. And, uh, man, it would just be times. It will be early, early Saturday mornings or – you know what I'm saying? Because we just had to get the chemistry down pack quick, you know, right before the season because he came in the spring. And, man, it, it was just all the work that put us on the same page. And, you know, we've, we've thrown with each other so much. I know where he's going to place the ball if the DB's on my back. I know what he want me to do coming out of my comeback if, if you know what I'm saying, if you want me to come straight back down the stem or if you want me to angle it back down to the sideline because, you know, I can just feel it. It's, it's times in the game I can line up and be backside by myself and, I can just look at him and know what route he wants. We don't even have to say anything, and, and boom, there goes six. You know, but, man, the chemistry was awesome with, with Devontae Kincaid, and I'm going to miss playing with that guy. Yeah, and uh, certainly going to be looking forward to what he does this uh, this coming season now as a senior. Um, now, since the season has been over, since your collegiate career has been over, Chad, uh, you know, kind of give us a look as to what your schedule has looked like. I know you've been uh, very busy training for that pro day out at uh, Fit Speed. Is that right? Yeah, I have. Um Man, right right now I'm just I'm just enjoying the process. I'm waking up every morning, um, speed work every morning, uh, going back in the afternoon for all my lifts and, you know, uh eating right, drinking the right things, you know, putting the right things to my body that's gonna uh soon prevent me to you know, make me be successful. But um that's that's basically my schedule every day, man. I, I don't do nothing but work, 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 work all day. <laughs> and hey, and we see it, we see it, there's no doubt about it. Do you have any goals for your pro day? Any specific numbers you wanna hit? <laughs> uh, any specific numbers I want to hit? Um, yeah, I have my goals. But I don't really like talking about them too much. I'm just gonna let them show on pro day. All right. Definitely gonna let them show on pro day. It's gonna be a show. All right, cannot <laughs> wait. We'll certainly be tuned in for that again. We're chatting with the 2017 NFL draft prospect, the wide receiver out of Grambling State, and uh, one of the biggest NFL combine snubs, if I must say. He's at Chad Williams here on the NFL Draft Bible Player Spotlight Show. Don't forget, you can check out this interview as well as more NFL Draft material over at NFLDraftBible.com. Now, Chad, as I mentioned, the NFL Combine, are you surprised that you didn't get an invite uh, to perform in the in front of the uh, scouts in Indianapolis next week? Uh, I, I thought I was going to receive one, but, you know, God don't make mistakes. You know, it's all in God's plan. I'm just, I'm just so happy to be in the position that I am now. I'm not looking at anything as a takeaway or getting mad at it because God don't make any mistakes. I'm just going to stay prayed up, man, and I still have Pro Day. I'm going to go to Pro mm -hmm. Day and show everyone who Chad Williams is and what he's about. I love it. I love it. Well, last month, Chad, you uh, you were invited and participated in both the NFLPA Collegiate Bowl. You you opened up a bunch of eyes out there. You then received an invite to the Reese Senior Bowl. Uh, you know, what were those experiences like going up against some of the best in the country, and how do you feel you fared against that at a legit co top competition? Um, man, the experience was wonderful, man. It's always good to to be able to line up against someone and, and, and be able to show your talents off against a a, a supposedly higher ranked guy, you know, uh division one single A guys, man, you know, guys from uh, North Carolina, um uh L S U, um, Tennessee, like, you know, just, just guys of that nature, man. But I mean, it, it it's always a blessing to be able to do so and I, I believe I fared I believe I fared pretty well against against those guys. I showed everyone that <laughs> You know, it don't matter where you come from, small school, big school, man. If you if you can play, they're going to find you, you know? Yeah, no doubt about it. Now, now talking opponents over the past four years, Chad, you, you play in the SWAC each and every year and uh, and just playing in the FCS in general. I mean, uh, who do you feel is the best player that you've had to line up against? Is there anybody that comes to mind right away lining up one-on-one -on -one, 
uh, that that may have given you fits over the years? Um, I, I don't know about a lot of fits. I do a <laughs> lot of studying guys. <laughs> I do a lot of studying guys. I don't know about a lot of fits, but the best player that I, I can say I have lined up against was Danny Johnson from Southern University of Baton Rouge. That guy, he he's a very he's a very good corner man. He's smart. He can move. He come in and out of his breaks. You know, it's not too much we're gonna beat him on you. So you have to kind of like study that guy and know his strengths, his weaknesses. But that was definitely my favorite matchup. Uh, seeing him uh, every year, man. Well, within you know within the big rivalry of the Bayou Classic mm-hmm. with Southern and Grambling, man. I love going against that guy because he's just as competitive as me. And we make each other better. Absolutely, and you know what? You're absolutely right. I don't think there was many people that gave you too many fits over the past four years. I don't think there's many many guys out there at all. Now, just a few more questions for you, Chad, and then we'll let you go. Really do appreciate your time. Uh, if you had to choose one game out of your entire collegiate career for a scout to go back and watch, um, what what would that one game be? Is there is there one in mind? Um. I would say Arizona, uh, uh, our second game of my senior season. You can go watch Arizona, and, and Arizona will tell you everything you need to know. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. Now, now let's say you could give yourself a, a brief scouting report. What do you feel is your biggest strength, and what is one thing that you would still like to uh, improve on? Um, I think my biggest strength is this, man. Man, I play hard. I, I, I don't take any plays off. I try not to take any plays off, you know, uh, Man, I, I'm, I play I play super hard. I play with aggression. I play with passion because, you know, the, the love I have for the game, you know, the love I have for the game is, is unimaginable, man. I've been doing this since I was little, and it's, it's almost the only thing I know, man. I, and, um, I just, I, I just, man, <laughs> I can't even explain how much love I even have for the game. But, you know, one thing, things that I think I need to work on is, you know, just, just, just things coverage wise, you know, of NFL guys, you know, because guys are much more smarter now in the NFL. Guys are much faster, you know. Things that I could have seen in college, guys are disguising that way better in the NFL, you know, because they've been here. They're bit, they're smarter, you know. They're looking at it's me a like job a now. It's a job now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely a job, and you know, I just want to get better with disguising, with with just you know being able to to point out things that's going on in, in a true NFL based defense. Yeah, absolutely. And you know what, talking to the NFL, I mean, uh, growing up or, or even just within the last couple of years, I, I mean, is there a, a current or, or former NFL player that you kind of try and model your game after, maybe take bits and pieces of their game and add it onto your own? Um, no, nah, I don't I don't I don't believe it's no one that I really model my game after, but I, I am a thief. I do steal a lot of things from a lot of people. I watch Julio, I watch Dez. Man, I even I even steal things from Antonio Brown, from Odell Beckham. You know, mm-hmm. he, like I try to I try to, I take all the good things those guys do, and I try to add all of it and implement it to my game. I take some of Odell Beckham. I take some of his releases. He has excellent releases. He know how to get off the ball. Um, Julio knows how to play when the ball is in the air. You know, um, I look at um, who else? Um, I take I even take things from Chester Rogers. Man, Chester Chester know how to get in and out of breaks. He know how to set a he know how to set a defender up and become open. So it's a lot of guys in the league, man, that I that I really kind of model my game after. But you know, I just take a lot of bits and pieces and try to build one big figure out of all of it. Absolutely, that's fantastic to hear. You gotta love it. And of course, you mentioned some of the top guys in the league. And of course, you shouldn't want to. Uh, model yourself after any anything else. So of course, you know the Julio Jones of the world, the the Odell Beckham's of the world, and, and even a younger guy like a Chester Roger who still has a lot to prove in the league, but is a guy that is uh, you know uh, he that they're that you're kind of following his footsteps as well, coming from Grambling State. Now, final yeah. question for you, Chad. Let's say we have all 32 NFL general managers. They're tuned in. They're listening to this very interview. Why should they select the wide receiver out of Grambling State, Chad? Uh, Chad Williams in the 2017 NFL Draft. Why should they want you a part of their organization? Because Chad Williams is a guy that will never be late to practice. He's definitely a team guy. He's the ultimate spirited guy, and he's going to give you 110% every day. If you can't get it, he'll work until you get it right. And Chad Williams is the guy that's going to contribute to any part of the team and do anything he can to make his team successful. Hey, whatever you can do to get on the field, got to love it. Chad, really appreciate you taking some time out of your schedule to join the show to chat about your draft process and your collegiate career. Congratulations on all the success, and we're really wishing you all the best. And uh, going to be, be, be on a lookout for your uh, pro day numbers, no doubt about it, man. Best of luck to you. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much.